I am Dr. Mohammed Jahangir from the Department of Food Science and Technology, the University of Haripur, Pakistan. In this lecture, I will talk about the processing of NMR spectra by using MestreNova, and our target is to convert the spectra to a bin or bucketed file. So further, we can use it for multivariate data analysis. So we start with opening this software, the master Nova, and go to file and locate our spectra to open it in master Nova. So the FID file of this targeted spectra is used by double clicking on it, we get it. Then we go to file again to open the second spectra. An FID file of the second spectra. And so on. I will open few of these spectra. In total, I have opened 10 spectra. This can be 20, this can be 100. Just for an example, I have opened 10 NMR spectra. So this is our data set, our spectral set. Now we can select all these slides or spectra by just clicking on control and a so, so what what i did i selected one then control and a i can select it by clicking on one and then control and then clicking or clicking and so i can leave few if i like to do it. otherwise control and a Now I like to see a whole spectral region. For this, I'll go to view and then full spectrum view. I can have a complete view by just clicking F from my keyboard as well. Just I click, I select all of these spectra and then I just click F it will show us a complete view we can look at when we zoom it zoom we select it this region from our mouse well through left click now we see on the left panel you can see it that as we selected all the spectra so whatever we play with one spectra it will affect all of the spectra so now if I like to see a complete spectra, I will click on full spectrum or I will click F. Now this is a full spectrum view. 
the next step is to standardize the reference peak at zero in case of TMS or other as per solvent whatever the solvent is as any good NMR spectra it must always be properly referenced using an internal chemical chip or any internal standard the chemical shift referencing is important for compound identification for peak alignment and further use for multivariate data analysis regarding metabolomic analysis or any other need It is important to note, to note that some chemicals or some internal standards are pH sensitive. In other case, we can also standardize the, standardize the reference peak as per the solvent peak. Like in this case, we have CDCL3 or chloroform as solvent. So, what we do we go to the analysis bar here on the right bar we go to the analysis and then we go to the reference on the left most left side this one this is the reference so if i click on this small arrow there will be a drop down menu from this we can select the reference P or we can select reference by solvent and then click on our desired peak i had already standardized this spectra by reference this spectra at 7.26 so it appears by default like this but normally it is not like this in the start of the processing we can see here that this is the old shift mentioned here it is 7.26 because i have already did this job so anyway, whatever this is, if it's, let's suppose, if it's 5.26, then we can simply change it to 7.26. We don't know about the peak of this solvent. Then we can click here on this solvents and select the, our desired solvent, which is the chloroform D, CDCL3, 7.26 ppm. And we just say, do okay. It will select this peak in all of these selected spectra. Still, I would recommend you to look at each individual spectra at least to confirm it because any mishap here will result in a problem or as a problem in your multivariate data analysis we standardize the reference p as per our solvent system then the second stage is phase correction the phasing is a nmr spectral adjustment process that is intended to maximize the absorption character and the symmetry of all spectra peaks over all regions of an uh, NMR spectrum. It is one of the most important steps in spectral processing as even small phasing error can lead to significant problems that will ripple down through all remaining spectral processing and post-processing steps. In particular, phasing error can affect spectral alignment 
or it's uh, binning, which is our final target at this stage of um, within M NOVA, and also in the measurement of peak areas. For phasing, we prefer manually, although automatic is also present there, but we do it at zero peak, 40 ms, solvent peak or largest peak as appropriate through manual correction. It's better to do it manually for individual spectra. Because if we select all these spectra, and then we do manual phasing from we go to processing tab here and then we do a manual phasing okay so we can look at here from here manual correction we get this phase correction tab it's clearly mentioned that from left click and right click we can change the spectral phasing look here it's it uh, it's like it has selected the biggest peak we can opt any peak but mostly we do it on biggest biggest uh, peak we can opt it on the solvent peak also or any other peak but i, I would also prefer I, I would prefer that you can do it on the largest peak or biggest peak so if i click on left click here and move it up or down you can see the change in spectra if i just bring the cursor here and then through the mouse this tire of the mouse i increase it look here and now i come back here for phasing and if i move it up and down it affects like this if you have observed this pan of the screen the left side you will see that if i change this spectra the one spectra only up and down it will affect all of these spectra in this case because i have already phased the spectra it will not affect too much to all spectra but still you see here in this second spectra although the first spectra is seems to be good good adjusted or phased but the second one is not like that and third one is okay a bit, bit better and then you can see there is a difference also so in this case i would prefer to do it manually one by one you just click here and then select the other one and then move it like this and then the other one and so on Okay, we are done with all these 10 spectra. Select all, increase their intensity. Now we need to do the baseline correction. The baseline correction is another spectral processing technique. It is critical for removing spectral artifacts that can arise from any any problem or it can through maybe electronic distortion or any other digital processing and in, inadequate digital processing or uh, any other issue when properly done baseline correction yields a most pleasant looking spectrum where signal free regions are completely flat or seems like flat 
uh, horizontal lines with uh, zero intensity so these 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 lines it seems to be zero although if we increase the intensity maybe it's a bit up and down but for uh, for this process of baseline correction we increase the intensity a bit so we, we know better